Icebergs and sea ice are icons of Newfoundland and Labrador, of our environment, our culture, and our industry. But this year, there's a lot less of it. Icebergs are far fewer, sea ice is sparser and thinner. With no big bergs, we're left with big questions. Why is this happening? And what does it mean? So, so this is Peterman Glacier. It's way up in the Nair Strait, but it's the location where we get most of our icebergs, not, not all of them. To get some answers, I went to Seacor. For decades, Seacor has been studying ice conditions from above using satellites. We do monitoring for offshore oil and gas companies who operate uh, rigs and oil production platforms offshore. That data also helps power the website icebergfinder.com. That site is owned and maintained by the Newfoundland and Labrador government, underscoring how important icebergs are to tourism in this province. But on the website and the satellite, the picture's the same. So this shot is from today. This is from the exact same time last year. So you can see the difference. Lots of red, lots of purple on this side from last year. None this year, except for a few here. Um, and all of these uh, yellow ones are small. So there's a huge difference between the number. This is just a snapshot, a daily snapshot, but it is representative of what we've been seeing over the last few months. Now for the big question, why? Like an iceberg, the answer is all about your perspective. There's a short-term explanation and a long-term one. How things set up for the spring really depends on what's happened through the winter. If you have a cold winter, you get a lot of sea ice. This year has been an El Nino winter. It means that the temperatures are higher than normal. As a consequence, the ice is thinner. We're seeing fewer icebergs. They're smaller, and uh, we're certainly not seeing them down here in, in the St. John's area. They're melting much further north. So it's been a warmer year. Ocean temperatures are up, and ice levels are down. But that short-term explanation is, of course, just the tip of the iceberg. We have seen over the last two decades a constant decreasing of the sea ice cover and the quantity and size of icebergs that make their way down here. If you're looking at climate change, climate change is a, is a gradual thing. You, you will get extreme years all of the time. This, this is an extreme year on the low side. No doubt we will get years where we will get lots and lots of icebergs and lots and lots of sea ice. These things come in cycles. So the best thing to do to understand how things are changing is to look at you know, decades worth of information. And from that long-term perspective, the picture is crystal clear. An ocean with more blue and less white. Can that trend be slowed down? Will icebergs still be icons of Newfoundland and Labrador in 100 years? In 50? How about just next year? We're heading out of that El Nino cycle now, so next winter will likely be a bit cooler. We would expect there to be more sea ice next uh, winter, next spring, uh, but we'll have to wait and see. Even the best satellites can't see the future. From our perspective, all we can do is cross our fingers and keep watching to see what floats our way. Thank you.